Hello, Hacienda La Puente. This is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas. And today I want to show you our new, our brand new Microsoft OneDrive integration inside of Canvas. I know you are probably familiar with the Office um, 365 integration, but this just takes it to a different level. Just to give you an idea, you now have access to your Microsoft OneDrive inside of Canvas. And when you go in the first time, it's actually going to ask you to authenticate. So just make sure you pick the correct account, obviously your work account, hopusd.k12.ca.us, which I'm going to do right now. And your students will do the same thing and their Office 365 is HLP USD. Once you do that, I want you to see that you are going to have the basically your OneDrive inside of Canvas. You have the ability to create folders in here if you want to. You have the ability to move files if you want to. You have the ability to share files from here, to view the latest changes. So it's basically having OneDrive inside of Canvas. But this is, this is great, but it gets better when it comes to assignments. Let me show you on assignments. Now we have a brand new tool that in my opinion, it's, it's better than what we had before with Google or with Office uh, 365 Cloud Assignments. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to create an assignment. Okay, and once we are in here, let's just go ahead and give it a name. And let's call it Word OneDrive Assignment. Okay, and then over here, you could add the instructions. If you actually wanted to use something from Office, you have the ability to come to, like always, to Office 365. But now inside of the plug, I want you to see that you also have Microsoft OneDrive. So I could come in here and maybe I have the instructions in there. I could put in a PowerPoint, a um, Word document, whatever I might want to put in there if I wanted to use it as my instructions. So I can just write the instructions as I usually do. So I could come in here and just grab anything. So let's just grab anything right now. Okay, so let's just grab this. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay, just to give an idea. So let me just put that in there. I can embed or I can link. So let me embed it so you see what that looks like, okay? Okay, and then on this particular document, okay, the kids can see the instructions depending on the share settings that you have. They'll be able to, to collaborate together, but you don't want to do uh, collaboration, anything like that, or, or, or the students working on the assignments in here or the inside of the um, rich content editor. What you want to do is you want to come here. Let's go ahead and give the points. Then under the submission type, you want to switch this to external tools. And now you have this brand new tool that is called OneDrive. And I want to show it to you. It's right here. Let me click it. Okay. And what's going to happen is going to open your drive. So maybe I have a Word document or a PowerPoint or an Excel that I want my students to get their own copy and work on. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go to this folder. Okay. And then let's pick a document. So I'm just going to pick something from here. I might have an assignment here. Hopefully I do. Let me look. Uh, let's pick, okay, well, let's pick this assignment right here. Hopefully let's pick this. Okay attach okay so it's attaching my external tool now and after we do this it's going to tell you this is successful okay so let's go ahead and go okay and I will say select because it's fixed if, if, if it has done it you're going to assign as you usually do so it's going to be do the 29 and I have an until 29 okay and I'm going to save and publish and now I want you to see what it looks like from a student's point of view, okay? So from the teacher's point of view, remember I embedded that particular Word document in the rich content editor. Um, the kids are not gonna touch that, it's just for instructions, but over here, they actually have what they're gonna work on, okay? This right here, okay, what are clouds, okay? So notice from the student's point of view, I'm going to go to student view, okay? I want you to see for our students, it's gonna ask them to authenticate too. Okay, so here is the assignment you're going to see right now. It's going to say authenticate. Our students only have one Office 365 account, the HLP USD. So just automatically it should pop up because they're logged in with it to Canvas. They're going to click on it and notice that they're going to be able to see my instructions. But at the same time, so here's the instructions for the assignment that I had. Over here, they have the assignment. This actually created, and I want you to see this, this created, just so you see, a course 
as a student for all of our students in OneDrive. So we created a folder kind of similar to Google Classroom, how we did that. So we created basically a course where all of the um, students' documents are going to be hosted, kind of like Google Classroom did. And over here, our students have what they're going to work on. This could have been a PowerPoint. This could have been an Excel, a Word. And the kids are going to go here and say, edit document. I just want you to see what it's going to look like, okay? So it opened the document. Um, again, it created a um, copy for this particular student. We're going to go to the bottom after the students read the assignment. They can come in here and answer the questions. And let me just, uh, for this particular um, exercise, let me just type some stuff here. So Teresa um, is um, a student in one of my classes. Okay. Okay, and this, let's say that she was answering the questions, right? Okay, and so once she's done, notice that the document is being saved automatically on the cloud. So it's saved. I can close it now. Okay, I can go over here and it takes, sometimes it takes uh, a couple of seconds to um, show you the changes or what the students did. So if the student came in here, notice that her answers right here are right here. Okay, so the student will just submit the assignment now. And that's all they will have to do. Okay, this again, this will work with PowerPoint, this will work with Excel, this will work, the assignment is submitted. So now if I come in as a teacher, what I want you to see, I'm going to go ahead and go to SpeedGrader and go to that particular student. And uh, what's going to happen is if I refresh, so I can see her assignment, let's give it a second. Okay, you're going to see that you have a copy of her assignment, the submitted file right here, but you also have it right in front of you, okay? Whatever that student did, you have all of your annotation tools in here. If you are using the uh, comments, you have them available right here to use. So all of the tools that are available on SpeedGrader, you have available with OneDrive assignments, and you will just grade it and return it to the students, and you can sync it into Aries. So we're really excited about OneDrive assignments. And just to add again, this works with anything that is Office 365 or anything that is available on OneDrive. So if you would have uh, put a PowerPoint in there, that would have worked too. So if, just to give you an idea, this is an assignment that I had put for my students to complete. I have a PowerPoint instead of a Word document. Okay. The same concept. I gave the instructions on the uh, Rich Content Editor. The students go in here, Student View, just so you see it. Okay. And now my students are able to work on that particular PowerPoint and be able to add whatever they need to add. So they will just log in with their credentials, which is great. We know exactly which credentials they're going to use. There's no confusion between HLPNet, HLPUSD, or uh, um, a, a personal account. It's just going to work. Our students will load the file. They will have the option to edit the document. Okay. Once they're done editing the document, the PowerPoint in this case, they're able, they're able to submit it and it will just be right there inside of your speed grader. So I hope this helps. I'm really excited. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosses. Have a great day.